Hello everybody, Queen Bee here with a new tutorial video on how to level fast in Icarus. With the next beta weekend introducing us to progressive missions, the devs have announced that we're going to be seeing a total character wipe and everybody will be starting out from scratch. With 30 character levels and all the good stuff being available at higher levels, this tutorial hints and tips video covers everything you will need to know about how to level your character fast in Icarus. This is the second in a series of tutorial videos that I'll be doing for the game. If you're struggling with the game, make sure you watch to the end for the video covering everything you need to know about how to hunt in Icarus. As always, if you find this video helpful, please do take the time to leave a like and sub for the good old YouTube algorithm. And if you have any leveling tips that I haven't mentioned, please do be sure to share them with everybody in the comments section. With pretty much every action you do giving you XP, it can be quite difficult to work out which actions in the game are going to be best for fast leveling. So in this video, I'm going to cover the fast leveling tips and strategies that I will be using in the next Icarus beta weekend. Bear in mind that some of these tips are going to benefit you most early in the game at the lower levels and others will be more useful later, but every tip I share will help you speed level. So strap yourselves into your pods prospectors because we're about to embark on a speed leveling mission in Icarus. Tip one, tech tree points. Every time you level up in Icarus, you get planetary tech points to spend. You also get bonus tech points at certain milestone levels. There are a huge amount of unlockables in this game and you will never ever gain enough points to unlock them all. So you must work out what's best to unlock for you and for your gameplay. For every player, there are going to be key survival tech points that you will need to spend initially, whoever you are. But pay attention to the video as there's also some key items you will want to be unlocking in the tech tree to help with your leveling progress and I'll discuss these during the video. Tip 2. Talent points. Every time you level up you'll also get talent points to spend. There are some talent points that will aid you in leveling faster and these include speed chopper and speedy mining. Becking into these increases your attack speed with the axe and the pickaxe by 10%, 15% and 25%. The faster you can mine and chop, the faster you will level. Stamina related talents such as Chase Them Down and Marathon Runner increase your base stamina by 10% and 25%. With more base stamina, you can carry out more leveling activities before having to rest and regain your stamina. If you're playing multiplayer though, do not put a point into Marathon Runner as it will not work. It's a solo talent point only. There are a number Number of other very handy talent points that you'll want to look at so do make sure you check out the talent tree but as with tech points you'll never be able to unlock everything so do be scrupulous about what you want to spend and why personally I'll put a point and chase them down for sure and speedy mining but I'll skip the speedy chopper and marathon runner tip 3 gathering from the second you hit the ground in Icarus you want to gather absolutely everything as you run keep pressing your your action key or your F key to gather everything that you run over gather 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 everything you gather gives you xp and nothing is redundant everything you can gather will be used gathering will really help you speed through the first few levels whilst obtaining resources that you will need in the game tip four always be crafting remember your abcs guys turn the xp you get from gathering into more xp by crafting the items you gather Aside from berries which will be eaten for food and hydration, everything else you gather can be used early game for crafting. My initial go-to is to turn the fibre and sticks and stone that I gather into arrows or bandages because I know I'm going to need them. Crafting fibre into bandages is a great go-to and while it isn't the XP exploit it used to be, it will still really boost your XP. Crafting the arrows will give you XP and you'll also need them for hunting. So again this basic crafting will really help you with speed levelling those first few levels so you'll want to settle yourself into a gather max craft gather max craft loop even if you end up chucking the things you've crafted onto the floor due to lack of inventory space do not run around with a load of harvested items in your inventory make use of them by crafting them up into something else for more xp tip 5 chop build destroy loop it's really very straightforward you start your game with two items unlocked an axe and a pickaxe craft them both immediately chopping trees is one of the great early game xp actions and no matter how you play the game you're always going to need more wood you'll want to chop trees to build your base or other items such as storage and crafting benches but chopping trees can be used as a really great early game xp grind spend a point on unlocking one or two wood building items such as the wood beam or the wood floor chop a load of trees 
ways, gather some fibre and max craft wood beams or floors. Then destroy to get the materials back, rinse and repeat, craft and destroy and so on for some really tasty XP grind. As soon as you are able, upgrade your stone axe to an iron axe. This does more damage to trees and yields more XP and resources from each hit. Tip 6 mining. Grab your trusty stone pickaxe and mine. There are tons of mineable resources out there for you to mine and mining gives you a really great source of XP. I would focus on stone, iron, sulphur and oxide to start. Find yourself a cave and mine yourself about 100 ore using your basic stone pickaxe. Then stop mining. You will want to hit level 10 and then craft up a stone furnace to smelt the iron. Then unlock and craft the anvil and the iron pick. This will cost a total of 92 iron to achieve. These are all level 10 items and are the first things that you are going to want to unlock at that level. From there you can continue mining iron, copper and so on for XP. But being patient and waiting for the iron pickaxe is a top tip because not only do you get more XP per whack, you get a better yield of iron. After you begin mining again, craft an iron knife and an iron hatchet as priority. Tip 7. Hunting. Hunting is a tad riskier than chopping or mining, but hunting gives great XP. Hunting predators gives significantly more XP than mining. You're going to want to hunt for various key resources such as meat, fur, leather and bones. So if you are intent on fast levelling, you are going to want to make use of this. Early game, make sure one of your first unlocks is a simple stone knife for skinning and close combat, followed by a bow and some stone arrows. And as soon as you can, unlock bone arrows at level 5 and an iron knife and a long bow at level 10. Make sure to use your stealth attack, left control, for a cheeky 1.5 XP bonus. I also like to back into bullseye and bow combat in the talent tree to give an increased chance of critical hit. If you are struggling, don't forget, check out my hunting tutorial at the end of this video. Tip 7. Upgrading. Upgrading your items is majorly important for fast levelling in the game. As you progress, it's crucial that your tools do too. Early levelling is easy as it doesn't take that much XP to reach the next level. But as your levels increase, so does the amount of XP needed to reach the next level. Upgrading your tools increases your XP gain per action. For example, the stone pickaxe does 50 melee damage, 50 mining radius and 100% mining efficiency. But the iron pickaxe does a whopping 75 melee damage, 75 mining radius and 150% mining efficiency. As you upgrade your tools, your resource and XP yield increase, so, so don't forget to upgrade your pickaxe, knife, axe, arrows, bows, spears, etc. as you progress through the levels. If you're a miner trying to level up in the later levels with a stone pick, it will take a lot longer than leveling with a higher tier pickaxe. Tip 8 Sickle and flower. A bone sickle is unlockable at tier 1 and it's a really useful item to have. Not only does the sickle allow you to mass gather fibre and sticks which is super useful during those early levels and helps to really fast grind that XP, but it also increases the yield of items you gather. But sickles can also be used to reap wheat fields. Wheat can be crafted into flour, a resource you're going to want to stockpile for later crafting bread and flatbreads for food. If you happen upon a field of wheat, a great way to boost your leveling is to use your sickle to gather the wheat. You boost your yield and XP by using a sickle. Take the wheat to your base and craft up a pestle and mortar unlockable at level 10. Dump all the wheat in there and mass craft flour for XP. It's worth noting as well that there are a number of things you can mass craft in the pestle and mortar for a really speedy XP boost. These include using sticks to mass craft tree sap, using bones or tree sap and sulfur to mass craft epoxy resin and sulfur and charcoal to mass craft gunpowder. Tip 9 Stamina well, we've already touched on the importance of stamina while grinding the levels and how you can use the talent tree to help you with that. Now we're going to expand on stamina and how to maximise your stamina to enable better XP grinding. Sleeping gives you a rest buff which increases stamina. Try to sleep every night even if you only jump into your camp bed for an hour. Just make sure you sleep a little bit to ensure you've got the buff for the next day. You can also eat food for stamina. Each food item consumed gives you a stamina buff and these buffs are stackable. So try to have always eaten three food. For example, early game, eat some berries, some cooked meat, some cooked fish for that max stamina, which will help you grind the points much more easily during the day. Tip 10, don't die. 
whenever you die you're going to lose all the xp gained in your current level as your death penalty now let's say you're level one and you're trying to get to level two that's not a hardship it'll take minutes to get back and level up but later in the game it's going to take a long while to get those xp back so beware of this and be tactical for example if i'm leveling up late in the game and i want to go and kill a bear or need to go and kill a bear if i'm almost at the point of leveling up i will put a hold on the bear and i'll do something safe like mining or crafting at my base to reach the next level before i do something dangerous like taking on a bear finally guys a cheeky little bonus tip for you the fishing exploit there are certain areas on the map where you will find an insta spawn point for fish kill a fish and another one insta spawns back in its place this is an incredibly great way for grinding xp and for getting food remember to take the best knife you can that will give you the best xp yield you you can get and if you're worried about getting poisoned take some anti-poison although Personally, I don't bother with it as the poison effect from the mutant fish is entirely negligible. The insta spawn point that we have found is in N9. If you find the pond by the cave to the desert, then follow the stream from the pond uphill, you'll come to a tiny pond where the fish insta spawn. I took an iron knife and as you can see, I got 50 plus XP for each, ki each fish killed and they spawn right back. So um, it's a really, really good way of getting food, getting, getting XP. For now, certainly, really, really good tip. And that's it for all the Icarus hints and tips and tricks and fast levelling guide. I do hope you found it useful. Don't forget to like, comment and sub to the channel. And if you're struggling with hunting, don't forget to check out the Icarus guide coming up next. Until next time, guys, stay safe and take care.